Hello, so today is going to be another how-to video. This time I'm going to be showing you how to use the Revlon Nail Art Chalkboard. Um, this is basically the same concept as my last nail video on the Revlon um, Nail Art Expressionist. Um, where the black one is the regular polish, regular brush, and the different color one is going to be your thinner striping brush, again, number one and number two. Um, basically, the only real difference, other than color-wise, um, is that these are going to dry matte to a matte texture so that they look like a black chalkboard. Now these ones are always a black base. All of the ones that I've seen, I haven't seen any different ones. They're always a black base. And I personally have four. I have this one which is a pale green color. I also have like a white one, a cream almost like yellow-ish color, and then a purple one, like a pale or pastel purple. So those are the four that I have. I'm not sure what other ones there are, but this one is called Spring Break. And like I said, it is the green one of the ones that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my peel off base coat. And I personally am not going to be using a top coat, um, but I will tell you multiple ways that you could if you wanted to more towards the end. But let's go ahead and get everything going for now. So again, this is Revlon Nail Art Chalkboard. That is the brand. And it is a step one, step two, and like I said, all of them are, I believe, step one is black. So these are for like the black chalkboards that you see like in school or whatever. And this one that I'm using today is like a greenish color. Oops, it's upside down. And it is called Spring Break. So step one should be a regular brush. Let's double check. Regular brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. As you can see, it's already drying matte. This one is dry and this one is freshly painted, it's drying matte. Now one option, as I said in the beginning, I am not doing a top coat, but one option you could do to help this last, because a lot of matte polishes don't really last very long anyways, um, you could go ahead and put a glossy top coat on right now when it's still a little streaky on the black before you put on your second layer. So you can put a glossy top coat on right now and then for your second layer you would get the texture back. Um, that's one option. Especially if you don't have a matte top coat or any kind of you know matte polish to put on after a glossy top coat. Um, that's one option you have. It's one option I would consider if I was doing a top coat, but like I said, I'm not going to do a, do a top coat. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my second layer of the number one, because it's just a little bit streaky in a few of the nails. Just wanna make sure it's all opaque. After two coats, it's pretty opaque. I did accidentally mess up this finger. You can barely tell, so it's okay. Um, another another option, sorry. Another option for the top coat would be to go ahead and t put your go glossy top coat on now if you would like the board to stay glossy, your little chalkboard piece which you know could be unique having a glossy black background and putting the colored chalk on top of the glossiness that is again another option for if you do not have 
a matte top coat or you want it to last a little bit longer. So I'm just going to let this dry just a little bit because I don't want to get any black on my green brush. And then we'll go ahead and get started on the design. So the number two process, like the Expressionist, should be a striping brush or a thinner brush. So let's go ahead and check that. Yes. It is a thinner striping brush for drawing on your chalkboard. Again, just bear with me as I am not a good drawer. That is awful. It's supposed to be a heart. It is not a heart. But I don't know what to write on a chalkboard. I'm not at all going to be able to actually write words. That's about all I can do. <laughs> I kind of heart you. That is not a very good heart. So that's one hand. <laughs> Let's see if I can do better on this hand. On my good hand. How's that? One plus one. Do I need to put the equal sign? Does that even look right? Okay, we got an A. So see, it's like it continues off of my finger. I always like to have a tongue sticking out on my smiley faces. Yeah, this is just awful. An A plus for effort because it's not for goodness. <laughs> ah! Just stab my finger on the tripod. Okay, so that is my botched job at using the chalkboard nail art tube thing. Um, if you are very artistic, it's amazing. I might suggest a smaller or a different brush. Um, it's just not quite small enough, especially if your fingernails aren't like really, really long and big. So my fingernails are just way too little and that brush is just way too thick to actually do something nice looking. <laughs> my A plus is just no. So your other option, your final option um, for top coats, if you don't want it to be matte, of course, you can just put a glossy top coat on it. If you want it to seal in your design and want it to stay matte, I would suggest putting a glossy top coat on or any any regular top coat on and then on top of that putting the matte because just the matte alone I don't think those are very good top coats they're more of like I don't know what you would call them but I would not call them a, an actual like top coat that's going to last I don't think that they in my opinion matte top coats are not as good as regular glossy or fast drying top coats. They just don't seem to be as chip resistant. So if you want it to be matte, you should put a regular top coat on and then put your matte top coat on top of the regular top coat. So overall, you would have two layers. If you just did the final top coat, you would have two layers of the black, then your design, then your glossy top coat, then your matte top coat. That's what I would do if I was going to do a top coat, but I knew that my drawings and designs were not going to be something I would want to continue wearing all however long. So <laughs> I'm fine if this falls off fairly fast. Um, yeah, I'm just not, not a good drawer at all. So anyways, that is my how-to video on the chalkboard nail art the Revlon chalkboard 
nail arts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!